Welcome to Hamburg Acres. So it's Sunday, November 6th. And uh, I came out for an afternoon hunt. And I haven't been out for a couple, I haven't been out since Thursday. Um, it's been raining for two days. It was warm the last couple days and now it, it's back in a 50s, 50-ish temperature. On my way out, I decided to walk along the edge of the woods there and get one of my chips out of my cameras. And I'm walking right about where I, right about where I shot at that uh, six-point buck. And uh, all of a sudden, right there, there's my arrow land. I, I've been looking for that arrow for two weeks now, you know, and uh, and there it's laying. So, so I picked up the arrow. And I brought it up here with me and. Uh, I'm sitting there looking at this arrow. So, so first of all, we know that the the three blades don't fly right. Okay, we figured that out when we were target practicing. But I'm sitting there looking at the arrow, and I'm kind of looking down my feathers to look at my tip, you know. And uh, all of a sudden, I realized that this knock, this knock is not lined up to that white feather at all. So if that's the that's the arrow I had in the bow. When that when that string shot it, that probably had something to do with the thing go flying crooked too. You know, I, I never noticed that before. I so now I looked at all my arrows here. This is the only one that's like that. Um, of the the three I have here up here with me. But something to watch for. You know, if you're uh, having issues shooting. Because uh, that came from the factory that way, you know. So, all right. Well, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping tonight we're going to see some deer because they've been they've been laying tight probably for two days now with all that rain. It, it rained a lot. We had a lot of rain. Um, I don't know the actual totals, but I had a lake in my my front yard there, in front of the garage. So. So I'm thinking tonight's going to be a good night. You know, last last couple times I sat out here, they came out way late, right at dark, and uh, I couldn't take a shot at anything. Um, you can see the deer out here, but then as soon as you put your bow up and you have that that red dot on, you can't you can't see what you're shooting at. It was still, you know, it was right around shooting hours, you know. So I just let them I just let them walk. I figure as long as they don't disturb them, they'll be back, you know. So I'm hoping tonight's going to be a good night. The other, the other thing I figured out was uh, I couldn't figure out. Every time I turned my GoPro on, I use my GoPro out this side window right here, right to my right, and uh, every time I had that GoPro on, it seemed like that doe was on to me that I was sitting in here, you know. And when I wasn't using the GoPro, everything was fine and they all walked past and whatever. So after, after I sat there and thought about it for a while, she's probably seeing this screen right here that I'm looking at. There's a screen, you know, the, the, uh, the viewing screen here on the front of the camera. She's probably seeing that. So, you know, stupid is as stupid does. I, I never thought about that. You know, and that's probably what she's seeing. So now I have some tape. I'm gonna put some tape over that, and uh, then she won't she won't see that. Um, there's still the the red blinking light. I'm not not sure if she can see that, but I can put tape over that too. So yeah, the stupid things you do that you don't realize. You know, oh, it sure would be nice if we get something this week. I'm I'm looking forward to putting something down once. I think I got the I think I got the arrows and everything figured out, so I think this will be the week here. I'm hoping. You know, hoping. Alright, later.
Seeing any deer out there? Can we go find me some deer? It is Saturday the 12th. It's the end of another week. We saw some deer this week, as always. But last night, um, about 4.10, 4.15, eight deer just bombarded the field, and they came from every which way. And uh, some of these deer, I don't think they're the ones that were out here previously. Um, but they were jumping all over the place. No bucks, just does and fawns and they were jumping all over the place kicking each other in the head and whatever so I don't know what was going on last night that they were acting that way um, anyhow I took a shot at a doe and uh, I hate to say this but I thought I missed again because I could not find any blood down there in the field so I looked I looked well into dark I went over into the neighboring property, just a little bit, I went 50 yards in or so, and no blood. I did not find any blood this whole field. I looked at this whole field. I went on all the way to the end of my property this way. I went all the way to the end of my property the other direction. No blood. And I saw the deer, she, she turned and ran and went right in that corner, right where they always come out of. So, to make a long story short, after a while I just gave up. There no blood, I figured I missed it. You know, Couldn't find my arrow out in the field. But I couldn't find the one the other, that one from the six pointer, and I just found that now, two weeks later. So, so anyhow, you know, I really thought I missed it. So I went home, came out this morning, and uh, didn't even hunt, I just went walking looking for, for the deer. And uh, sure enough, I found her. It was up in that corner on the neighboring property, about 100 yards in. That's where she was laying, and she was torn to bits already by the wolves, uh, coyotes, whatever, whatever goes after them in the middle of the night. And it was cold last night, so I wasn't worried about the deer. I thought if I could find it in the morning, that'd be fine. But, yeah, there's nothing, nothing left of it already, so... I really feel bad about that, you know, but if I don't have a blood trail, there's nothing for me to go look for, you know? So, obviously, you know, the arrow went in, you know, I'm going downhill, so it went in and never came out the other side. And uh, for that to go 100 yards with that rage, um, hypodermic, I think they're called, the ones that it's a two blade that I'm using right now. So for that to go 100 yards, that's kind of odd because, you know, the one I shot last year didn't even make it across the field, you know. So I don't know, you know. I really feel bad about it, but, you know, what are you going to do if there's no blood trail? But anyhow, <clears throat> what I wanted to tell you was uh, I'm sitting here and I see uh, Birdie out here in the field strutting his stuff. And, I mean, he's strutting. He's got his chest pumped up and his tail feathers fanned out and... You know, I'm thinking, wow, that's, I've never seen him do that before. And, uh, you know, sure enough, here he's got a girlfriend over there. She came out and she's spent some time in the field with her. Here's a little clip of it. He's pretty far away, so I don't know how this is going to look. But um, here's a little clip of it. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of neat.
So now, uh, hopefully that keeps him busy and he ain't up here bothering me all the time, you know? So anyhow, we're gonna try shooting tonight again. And, uh, you know, it's, it's snowing right now. It's coming down pretty good. Seems like it would be a good night, so let's get at her. If I don't stick another video in here of me shooting a deer tonight, um, we're gonna call it quits for this week. I am next week. I am gonna name that bird. Okay. I know I've been spent a couple weeks now since I posted that video where I wanted you guys to give names, but I got the names all written down on a piece of paper. I'm gonna put them all in a hat and and just uh, call them off. You know, call it off. Pull one out of a hat, and that's that's the name this bird's gonna have. I am gonna do that for next the next video. We will have a name for the bird. And uh, he was just. He was just back here knocking on the door. But anyhow, that's it for this week. You know, give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe.